Welcome back to Havana Media. My name is Bonfesa Wino, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. Now, uh, there are some of the things that I would like us to discuss here, or uh, there are a lot of questions that uh, have got no answer, and there is no one that is answering them concerning the concerning what happened yesterday. Uh, first of all, uh, yesterday, Raila Moludinga, together with the team, with the, his team of Azimiula Umoja, uh, went to Embakasi, that is uh, in uh, Mkuru Kwanjenga, uh, to give them food and also to help those who are uh, the, the people that were affected by flood. And uh, there is something that happened. And that is, what, that is what I want us to talk about. I, I was listening to the way Raila Moludinga was talking and I felt like, no, this guy is not... Uh, is, there is something that has happened. This is not the real Raila Muludinga that we know the way the way he, use, he normally talk or the way he speaks. I felt like there is something that uh, is wrong somewhere. That is what I want us to talk about. But before we do that, I would like to give you a chance to go to the subscription area. Click the subscribe button, like, share, also drop me a comment at the comment section and tell me where you are watching us from and uh, what is your thought concerning the this uh, video. As I normally say that feedback is normally the key, the key thing. Please don't forget to give me a comment down at the comment section below. Jumping back to our discussion. As I've said, yesterday, Raila Moludinga, together with his team of Azimula Umoja, traveled to go to Embakasi East, that is Mukuru Kwanjenga. They went to pay a visit and to give support to those who have been affected by flood in that area. And uh, Raila Moludinga spoke according to his words. He was very furious and uh, he was like attacking uh, the, the president of the Republic of Kenya, that is William Samoy Ruto, and his government. Lakini hawezi kutoa msaada kama mnyenye ya mjatangaza hali ya atari katika tafalini. Jamaa wanasumjumba yumba. Hapa wanyapali wanaangaika. Hawajui maenda upande huu au upande huu. Mkoni wa kushoto hajui yale makulia inafanya dini. Ya sababu sisi tuko na shida. Sisi kama azimio tuko na sulihisho. Atunga kuwa na shida hii kama alimiengi kuwa kwa zirikali. Sasa lakini kuna wale wengine kama wana linturi. Ndiwa kwa zirikali. Kuna wale wengine mbae wana yumba yumba hapa na pale muna wajua. Si muna wajua hawa watu. Hawajui kama wanaenda au wanarodi. Ndiwa sababu tuko na shida. So there are a lot of questions here that I would like to ask you. I would like us to ask ourselves because I've tried to ask myself because, uh, okay, I've really tried to ask them, but uh, I'm failing to get an answer. Number one question that I'm, I've, I've, been, I've been asking myself since I watched this video is this. Why will Raila Moludinga decide to attack William Samoy Road just immediately after he's coming back from Dubai? Because we remember that, uh, it, I think it was it is two days ago, that Raila Moludinga, uh, Raila Moludinga together with the... Uh, Ali Hassan Joe and Junet Muhabel traveled to Dubai and they came back. The reason is why they, the reason is why they went to Dubai, we don't know. The reason is why they, they went, only the three of them, living alone, uh, living behind a uh, weekly from Betso Paranya, we don't know. Those are the things that we should ask ourselves. And then immediately after coming back, Raila Moludinga is meeting with the with the US, with the Kenyan US ambassador, that is a mega white, white man, at his home in Karen. What they discussed, we don't know. But now immediately after all these meetings, Ali Hassan Joe runs is sent to go to Homer Bay. And we know very well that uh, two, uh, la, la, last week, last week, I think last week on Monday, last week on either Monday or Tuesday, uh, a group of UDA party leaders uh, went for the UDA party election in Homer Bay, whereby it was led by the SG, that is Secretary General uh, of Malala. And Malala was saying that uh, they've, all, they've already taken uh, Homer Bay County. Homer Bay County is now a home or uh, at the center that is, has been conquered by UDA. Yesterday, uh, oh, uh, yesterday, Ali Asanjo was sent to, to Homer Bay by Raila Muludinga. So while Raila Muludinga went to Mbakasi, Ali Asanjo was sent to Homer Bay. That is the home of uh, Gladys Wanga. And uh, now that is now that that one now brings us to these questions. That why would Raila Muludinga decide to send Ali Hassan Joho to Mabe? And then he's going to Embakasi. And not only going to Embakasi, Raila Muludinga is attacking uh, the government of the Republic of Kenya. I know many people wanted Raila Muludinga to talk. 
many people we, we were wishing that uh, Rela would speak and most of people most of, most of the people are even saying that Rela should uh, boycott should abandon this job of African Union so that he can come uh, to to speak on behalf of Kenya so that he can come at least uh, to stand for Kenyans because Kenyans are really suffering why would another question is why would uh, this uh, K, uh, U.S. Kenyan ambassador, that is Mega White, de, white man, decide to pay Raila Moludinga a visit to his home in Karen. Why would this woman just decide to pay Raila Moludinga a visit to Karen? That is the, 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 the third question is this. I've been listening, I was listening to the speech of Raila Moludinga yesterday. And uh, this, uh, this question, I, I was asking myself this question. During his speech, why did Raila Molodinga decide to, to utter words, bitter words? And he remembered, he remembered what happened during the, the Mandamano, uh, during the, 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 the peaceful demonstration at, uh, at Mukuru Wanjenga, whereby the, he, he was shot 10 times, his, his vehicle was shot, was shot 10 times, but the bullet failed to penetrate inside. And also, during their when they were coming through outer ring road that is i think that is now the yeah the outer ring road they were blocked from passing raila talked about these things but my question was this why would raila Mulodinga decide to remember all these things at that time what could have triggered raila Mulodinga to remember all these things but i came to find an answer I think i was i was like i was trying to find myself i was trying to ask myself this question and i I found an answer. Number one answer that I found. But before I give you that answer, I want to ask this, that why did Raila Molodinga decide to call, call uh, William Ruto Zakayo? But I, yet I remember very well there was a time that uh, Kalozo Musioka said that Raila Odinga will never call uh, William Ruto Zakayo again. Yeah. <laughs> Mkomwambia yule jamaa Zakayo ya kwamba siku yake ile kimekaribia. Sasa hapa mnakumbuka tulipokuja hapa tulikuwa na wengi wa kama swara. Tulikuwa na wengi na kama swara. Na wale maaskari wa Zakayo. So now these are my uh, these are my analyst an analytic question answers number one answer concerning this issue of uh raila molodinga going to mukuru kwanjenga going to embakasi east or maybe talking uh, talking with the bitterness is this raila realized that uh the people of kenya are suffering and uh, the things that uh, the president or the, the, the government promised that he was going to do to the people, he has failed to do them. Another, another one is this. Raila's bitterness might come as a result of, okay, maybe he has sensed that uh, this issue of uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government, pushing, pushing him to go to become the chairman of African Union is just a propaganda. So it's like these guys want to push him to go away so that they can have the so that they can they, they can have the platform to do what they want. So maybe he, he, have real, he has realized that okay, these people want me to go out so that the people of Kenya might I told you something. I told you that Raila's bid for chairman to become the chairman of African Union is not for Raila himself. But if need be, I remember saying this that if need be, then Raila would prefer remaining in Kenya and protecting the people of Kenya talking pro talking uh, protecting the people of Kenya against this if the, the against the government instead of going to become the chairman of African Union because Raila's interest is in Kenyan government let us take a look at this suppose Raila Odinga wanted maybe to become the president uh, for his own gain i wanted to reason here Raila has got wealth so I don't think I don't think maybe there is something that maybe would uh, would uh, would make Raila to pursue become the the president of the Republic of Kenya maybe because maybe he wants to be he wants to get, to, be, to be wealthy he has got wealth so my 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 question has been why would Raila Molodinga be interested in becoming the president of the Republic of Kenya he has tried almost five times 
but he has failed. Why would he try again and again? Why would he try the first time fail, second time fail, third time fail, fourth time fail, the fifth time fail? And also maybe try the sixth time. This guy is seeing something more than becoming the president of the Republic of Kenya. He's seeing something more than that. So yesterday's speech, yesterday's speech made me ask myself a lot of questions. Another thing, Raila Muludinga is talking about uh, the Kenyan, the, the Kenya Kwanza and CSS. How are you? Come on, Naenda, I want to ready. Because I'm not too good at Shida. Give it as you can throw a kindiki. Give it as you can And I have to eat a machobu. Angaliani machobu. Machobu na magoha. Professor Magoha and Machogu. Yeah. Una tofauti. Yeah. Una tofauti. Yeah. Ni kama usiku na mchana. Yeah. Mtu anakuja anambia wewe huyu ni waziri. Unaanga wewe ni waziri wa nini? Yeah. Atiwa ni waziri waziri wa matibabu. Atijiji. Yeye ni mgeni si yeye ni waziri wa elimu. Si yeye ni waziri wa wafanyikazi. Unaangalia yote ni takataka. Ntakataka Ndiyo sababu Kuna shida manake Tuko na dreva Hajui ishtere wiko wapi Hajui gia wiko wapi Kulachi wiko wapi Ndiyo sababu Kenya ina shida okay, By the way I want us to look at this thing Like I don't know But this government has really failed us Like we were citizens The people that uh, elected them Number one let us look at when you go to every ministry, go to the Ministry of Internal Security, led by Kindiki. Go to the Ministry of Health, led by Nakumincha. Go to the Ministry of uh, Agriculture, led by Linturi. Go to the Ministry of uh, Roads and uh, Roads, led by Murkomen. What is really going on? Like seriously, what is really going on? Has they, have they failed or maybe they are, they are trying to strategize on how maybe they, they'll do one, two things to put their, their, their things in order? Is it really valid or maybe is it really worth it? Is this government leading us somewhere? Like, for example, like let's say we give them hope of maybe up to 2027. Will there be any, any big change? I don't know, just that's my thought. And that's why I would also like to give you a chance in the comment section. But is it true that uh, Kenya Kwanza government has failed? And there is a lot of confusion in the, in the Kenya, Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza government. And I, I think that, that that confusion I'll play in the next video after this. Please, I would like also to watch the next video after this. Whereby, the confusion comes whereby two hours, two, uh, two hours before uh, the president's speech, the meeting is held and then uh, the, the Minister of, uh, of, of Education, that is uh, Machogu, Machogu saying that uh, they are trying to, they, they started putting uh, guidelines on how schools will be, will be reopened next week on Monday. And then after that, the president himself calls the press and says that the schools are to be closed until further notice. So that is now where the confusion comes. But I would like you to leave me a comment at the comment section and tell me what you think concerning that. That is just my thought. Those are just my thoughts. Like why I was just trying to ask myself, why would these things happen? Why would Rayla Mulodinga become furious? And why would he decide to call uh, William Samuel to Zakayo? Yet they promised that they will never call him Zakayo. And why would he now do this just immediately after coming back from Dubai trip? What was the plan? And what was the reason as to why they went to Dubai? Why did... Uh, the, the mega white Meg white man decided to visit to pay a visit to Raila Mulodinga at his home in Karen. Until we meet again, I've been your host, Bonfesino.